Well, it sounds like they want to protect her identity as the investigation moves forward. So far, no criminal charges have been filed, but that could change as detectives try and sort out what happened. It seemed like a strange place for a crime scene investigation. Cop cars and police vans converged on this Amazon warehouse in Phoenix around 8.30 Wednesday night after a 911 call came in reporting that a dead baby had been found in a trash can inside a woman's restroom. We're told when paramedics arrived, the baby girl was already dead and there was little they could do. It appeared to first responders that the baby uh, was full term or close to that. But the other questions uh, that you, uh, you may have, uh, we're still waiting for the investigation to carry out. So far, police have not released the mother's name or said whether she was an employee here, but that is a very strong possibility, considering the fact the baby was found in a secure area of the building. It is unclear how the baby died and how long it may have been alive. Arizona does have a safe haven law, which allows new moms to drop off newborn babies at any fire station or local hospital within three days of delivery, no questions asked. But sadly, that didn't happen here. So we have about a thousand moms who've come through. Emily Fankhauser is a case manager with Maggie's Place, a nonprofit organization devoted to helping pregnant moms across the valley who feel they have nowhere to turn. There are uh, designated safe places throughout the valley to just literally drop the baby off. But then the next step are um, places like Maggie's Place or different resources throughout the valley where you can go and say, I'm kind of stuck. I don't know what to do. Either I'm pregnant or I'm parenting and I I really don't know what to do next. And those places want to help. Fankhauser said it's just heartbreaking to think that something like this could have possibly been prevented. I understand how scary and how hard it can be. And especially if you don't know where to reach out. But no, those kinds of things shouldn't happen. It really, really shouldn't. Now, if you're interested in seeing some of the resources available to pregnant women in the area, we've got some links for you. Just download our AZ Family News app. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.